guys, welcome to another day of crafting. So today we're going to be making a paper plate turtle. So what you'll need are some paint or markers. You can use tape or glue. And then you're going to need a bowl, white bowl, a paintbrush, scissors and a pencil, and green paper, construction paper. So what you're going to do first is, and then you're also going to need a scrap piece of paper just to make sure that you don't get any paint or any marker marks on the table. So what you're going to do is you're going to take just a little bit of paint and you're going to put it on your bowl. Make sure it's all covered, just like this. I chose blue, but you can do whatever color you like. And then, what you're going to do next, is while you let that dry, you're going to take your green sheet of paper, and you're going to, you're going to take half of your construction paper, and you're going to fold it in half. So after you're done folding in half, you should have a little bit like this. So after you're done, you're going to take your pencil and you're just going to use your index finger and you're going to trace your finger on the folded side. So as soon as you trace your, your finger, you're going to trace it two times. One somewhere close to the edge and one next to it, but not too close. Then what you're going to do next is you're going to cut them out and you're going to take and then you're going to trace just the tip of your finger so from where your nail is so you can just trace the tip of your finger you can trace that only that part but I recommend you go at least halfway halfway on your You should get four. You should get four of these. Four little fingers. You're going to use these for the arms and legs of the turtle. And then with that half one, you should only cut one side. So you should only have one. This is going to be its tail. As soon as you're done with that, you are going to take a piece of tape and you're going to put it on one side of the leg. And as soon as your paper bowl is done, you can paint the inside if you want to as well, but I'm not going to. So in the meantime, if your paper bowl is dry enough, you can take one side of the leg and you're going to tape it upside down. You can put it on one side so the tape isn't showing. So you should have something like this. Just a little leg sticking out. And then continue to do that until you use all of your pieces. So after you're done taping or gluing your legs and your tail to your turtle, you should have something like this. But let's not forget the head. So what you're going to do for the head is you're going to trace your thumb. You're going to trace your thumb and you're going to cut it out on the same piece of paper. So make sure your thumb is pressed down and trace it around. And then you're going to cut it out like this, but only one side. So if you want to, you can draw a pair of eyes. As you see there, that's what I did. I drew a pair of eyes, and now I'm going to take a piece of tape, and I'm going to put it on the back side of the trip, so that way the sticky side is facing up. So you can do next to this. And there you 
go. There's your turtle. If you want to, you can add another coat of paint, or you can decorate it however you want. But this is how I'm going to do mine. So, thank you again for creating this with me. So, until next time, I hope you guys are staying safe, and I hope you guys are staying healthy. In the meantime, I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye!